another common external parasite are ticks. You can see from the picture on the left, the legs as the hair is parted. Look at the picture on the right, there are no visible legs and it has more of a firm root attachment as this is a skin tag. The two are often confused. So Lyme disease is not really particularly common in the UK or maybe it's underdiagnosed, who knows? But the symptoms that you might notice in your dog if they were infected with Lyme disease include lethargy, lameness, a fever, so that's usually over around sort of 39 degrees centigrade or 39.2 degrees centigrade, swollen joints and enlarged lymph nodes. Removing ticks requires you to own a tick remover. Make sure you've got one on your dog first aid kit. They will remove the ticks safely. Please do not listen to the removal myths such as burning them off or smothering in Vaseline or alcohol. You are likely to cause a greater, more serious issue. And please not, do not attempt to remove them with tweezers. Often that just pulls the body off and leaves the head behind. Once removed, check you can see legs and mouth parts to be confident you have removed the whole tick, including the head. Don't forget that once you have removed the tick, your dog will be left with a swelling that can last for several days. It's called a granuloma and is a reaction to the area the tick was feeding on. You can bathe it with cold black tea if you'd like to. Um, I do like arnica cream to apply to any minor skin grazes or swellings as long as the skin is not broken.